Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, we are kind of in the middle of a series of beers from uh, Second Story Ale Works uh, Brewery in Tokushima. Uh, recently I did three, uh, reviewed three of their beers with uh, Mark Melly, uh, the author of Craft Beer uh, in Japan, The Essential Guide. And uh, I wish I had Mark with me now to review. I've got three more beers from them to uh, look at, and uh, Mark knows them quite well. Uh, he knows the brewer, and he's visited the brewery. Uh, Second Story Ale Works started in uh, 2018, uh, so not too long ago, in Tokushima, uh, Japan, uh, which is uh, Tokushima is a city in Ehime Prefecture, which is one of the four prefectures of Shikoku Island uh, and uh, they're actually the brewery is not uh, is kind of outside the city uh, in the countryside and the name comes from the fact that they started the brewery in the second story of the brewers in-laws house I think above the garage of their house and uh, uh, and they began bottling from 2019 and uh, uh, the uh, generally people say that don't you know the kind of cardinal rule of establishing a brewery is don't put it on the second floor but uh, uh, according to mark the fermenters are on the f uh, first floor I, i'm not sure about the uh, the brew kit uh, the kettle and that sort of thing but uh, in any case uh, interesting name and uh, it was started by a, a couple uh, a man named Pat Brown, who was the brewer, and his wife, who uh, Yuki, who is the, uh, I guess, the manager and the owner of the company. And uh, he'd been home brewing for a long time, and he uh, uh, moved to Bend, Oregon, which is quite a brewery in town. Uh, uh, for example, Deschutes is started there, uh, uh, Bone, Boneyard, uh, and, and several others. And he... Uh, took a university brewing course, and, uh, uh, and then they came to Japan, and uh, apparently he'd been here before uh, a number of times, but uh, uh, decided to start the brewery, and uh, the location that they found seemed just right. Uh, and they, <clears throat> it is in a farming area, and they use apparently uh, lots of local products uh, in their beer. Uh, and, uh, and so, for example, we just had uh, reviewed one with uh, local uh, raspberries and strawberries and, and brown rice from the area as well. Um, so uh, we're going to look at uh, several beers, uh, more from them, and I do have a playlist. You can check those out. Uh, I have a playlist of about 20 beers from uh, uh, Second Story Ale Works. Uh, and in fact, uh, one of their beers, uh, the uh, Farmhouse Americano, was one of the finest beers I had last year. I reviewed it in the, in uh, last year, and then also in the top my top beers of the year video. So you can check those out uh, on Rate Beer. There are 41 beers listed uh, for this brewery, and on Untapped, 67. I'm sorry, 61 beers with an average rating of 3.75. So pretty high overall, uh, definitely. Um, so uh, a lot of people uh, haven't heard of this brewery, especially if they're in the Tokyo area, I think. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if they get as much recognition, but they certainly do deserve it. And uh, I'm going to uh, look at three more beers from them. Okay. All right. Hello, and how are you? This is Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. And today we are going to look at another uh, beer from Second Story Ale Works in Tokushima, uh, Shikoku, Japan. Uh, we've looked at uh, uh, several recently, and I have a playlist of about 20 or 20 plus beers from this brewery. Uh, and today's beer is called Yochan Tropical. And uh, uh, apparently, Yochan is a either a relative. It's not clear. Uh, in Japanese, he's called Uncle uh, Oji uh, and Gigi, and and whether he's an actual relative of the family or a, just a, simply a friend. But apparently, he likes fruit beers, and they have named their series 
of sour wild beers after him, Yotchan, and Yot would be a short form of his name, and Chan is kind of an affectionate uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, suffix that we would add, uh, kind of like Billy or Mikey or something like that. Uh, uh, it means, it's in a kind of an affectionate ending to a name. Um, so this is a sour beer, wild beer, flavored, uh, and as you can see, tropical. Uh, you can see a variety of fruits on the label here, and we're going to see what we get out of this here. Rate beer has only one rating, uh, and that is at 3.8 uh, out of 5. And untapped, there are only two ratings, uh, no score whatsoever. It's a 7% beer, and we don't have... Uh, we don't have uh, any uh, uh, IBU information, uh, but the uh, uh, it includes um, uh, mango and guava, uh, which is nice. Uh, and I'm not sure where guava uh, tropical. I grew up with guava. Where I, I mean, in my childhood, I had guavas, and uh, I don't see them in Japan. So I wonder where they got them. Uh, in any case. Uh, let's give this one a go, shall we? I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I think I've said before, I'm not a terribly big fan of uh, very extreme sour beers, but I can drink, you know, if it's well made, I can certainly drink it. Okay, so this is somewhat somewhat cloudy uh, pastel dark sort of dark pastel yellow I know it doesn't appear that way to you there but it certainly looks that way uh, with a kind of finger or so of sort of frothy frothy white foam in the nose hmm. oh my okay uh, mostly getting maybe guava Perhaps some mango and uh, a kind of lactic blast in the nose as well. So uh, definitely tropical mango and guava. Okay, this is quite sour. Um, Light pineapple. Uh, mango doesn't come through as much in the flavor. Mm. The guava is somewhat present. Mostly uh, pineapple, I think. And they don't include pineapple in here, but it's probably from the hops. Uh, yeah, this is quite astringent. Uh, A little bit minerally or, or salty, perhaps in the finish as well. Kind of grabs the tongue, uh, as many sours do. Uh, really makes you salivate too. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this would be a interesting beer to, you know, pair with. Uh, I don't know something that could. Uh, could handle this, maybe something more acidic, uh, you know, kind of a vinegar salad or something. Uh, wow, this is very well done. Uh, it's a little bit more past the edge of sourness that I really care for, but uh, it is quite impressive overall for a, a kettle sour. Yeah, okay, not bad at all. And uh, Yot Chan, I think you got a nice, nice. Uh, Nice beer to drink, and again, it's called Yotchan Tropical Sour Wild Beer, flavored, 7%. Uh, and uh, please go online and check out uh, Second Story Ale Works. Uh, they have a variety of sets. Again, this is if, if you live in Japan. Uh, I'm pretty sure they don't ship internationally. And uh, you can check out and see what they got, and uh, give them a go. Uh, and uh, please do subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. Uh, I like to hear from people and I 
you know, like to have little discussions, sometimes extended discussions with some of you uh, about beer and the kinds of beer that I'm reviewing or that you like, etc. And yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Stay healthy. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>